the news with Jack White, Bonnie Haynes, and the award-winning Channel 10 News team. On this Thursday afternoon, this is all that's left of the old electric building in Balboa Park, once the home of the famed Aerospace Museum. It burned down last night. Susan Farrell has the story. The first alarm went out at 8.14 last night. The flames were spotted by members of a dance class at the Casa del Prado across the street. Thirteen minutes later, firefighters called a second alarm as the flames spread rapidly through the wood frame building. Less than an hour later, a third alarm was called from the first crews on the scene. Firefighters say they knew they had trouble. The 63-year-old building had no sprinkler system, and the hollow walls acted as chimneys, sucking the flames up two stories and spreading them quickly. The orange glow could be seen for miles, and hundreds of people were drawn to the park, many watching in tears as the building burned. there was hope firefighters could contain the flames enough to save the priceless aerospace collection inside. But the strength of the fire was just too great. The 70 fire personnel, including 10 engine companies and 14 trucks, had their hands full just keeping the flames from spreading to other buildings. across the roof of the building, firefighters worried that the front would collapse into the street. There were some small explosions from inside caused by magnesium coating on some of the airplane replicas which sent small pieces of shrapnel flying. Then, just before 10 o'clock, less than two hours after the fire started, the front of the Aerospace Museum collapsed with scorching heat fanning out across the street. estimates at this point are futile. Firefighters say if it had been any other building, the cost would easily have topped a half million dollars. But how do you compute historical value, tradition, and the priceless pieces of San Diego's past stored inside? As one veteran firefighter put it, he's seen bigger fires in his 14 years with the department, but never a loss as big as this. For the news, I'm Susan Farrell, reporting from Balboa Park. started well based on the physical evidence uh, Jack and the uh, uh, statements of witnesses we've determined that the uh, that the fire started in one of the columns uh, that is right over there uh, on the northwest corner of the building uh, and we have determined that the fire is incendiary in origin it was deliberately set it was deliberately set do you know who those people might have been uh, we don't know who they are uh, the at, at this time based upon the witness statements uh, we know that there were uh, two young men at the scene of the fire uh, at, the, at the time. All right, thank you. Fire Marshal Don Farney joining us here, giving us some idea of how that fire got started last night. In the background, you can hear the bells, the chimes from the California Tower. The building just behind me, now in ruins, looking something like the results of World War II, was the electric building, and it was originally built here in Balboa Park for the 1915 Panama Exposition. It was built as a temporary building. It was scheduled to be torn down later this year. The 1915 Expo was so successful that the building was held over for the 1916 Expo, the year after. The Aerospace Museum moved in here 14 years ago, and the Aerospace Museum was scheduled to move out in October to new quarters here in Balboa Park in the Ford Building. The new Aerospace Center was set to open in December on the 75th anniversary of the Wright Brothers' flight. Now this gives you some idea of what the electric building looked like just yesterday, an impressive building filled with the treasures of aviation history. This past weekend, thousands of people made their way through the museum enjoying the exhibits here. Adrian Alpert looks back at this historic old building. 
Renovation work was just underway on the electric building. The 48,000 square foot structure was built for the World's Fair in 1915. The thousands who first came to see it during the World's Fair knew the structure as the Canadian building. Architect Frank T. Allen took the design from a Spanish house and from classical Greek architecture. The current renovation came from a $9 million federal grant. It was given to save Balboa Park's old buildings. The plans included tearing down the old electric building, then building it back following the old design. Some of the ornaments had already been taken down to form new castings. Much probably can't be saved, like the detailed ironwork which made up balconies and railings. San Diego took pride in having a full-scale replica of the Spirit of St. Louis and the Aerospace Museum, which was part of the electric building. The museum was to have been moved to the Ford Building as soon as the first phase of repair work was completed there. Also lost Walter Waterman's and Glenn Curtis's planes, and that's just mentioning a part of the tragedy there in a museum known for being one of the best displays of aerospace technology in the country. A group which has been working closely on the rebuilding plans is the Committee of 100. A spokesman told the news the loss of the electric building will ruin the overall unity of the Del Prado's design. It was a structure San Diego had been trying very hard to save as part of its history. For the news, I'm Adrian Alpert reporting. So we're here now with uh, Owen Clark, who is the curator of the Aerospace Museum. It has been a long night for him. As a matter of fact, when I saw him, he was rather red-eyed this morning because this has been his baby for the past 14 years, and now it's in ruin. What's next? Uh, I guess what you have to do in these times is to regroup and uh, consider yourself down but not out. And we're we're going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and start the new museum over in the Ford building. We are, yes. I know your biggest loss were the archives. How do you restart that? That's going to be extremely difficult. We'll have to appeal to people to look through their old foot lockers and attics and basements and see if we can't uh, reacquire some of those rare vintage books and magazines. I brought some rare old film of Charles Lindbergh down to Mr. Clark just the other day. And the film was lost in the fire, but we do have it on videotape. And I want to tell you now that we're going to make that available to you. And I think that anyone else who might have something around that can start up the new Aerospace Museum, well, you should donate it. And uh, they're having a meeting right now. Mr. Clark is a little late for it. He's going over, and we're going to have an address so that you can have a place to bring your donations. That's right. We'll get a place to establish in. All right. Good luck in rebuilding it. We'll be watching your progress. Thank you, Jack. Thank Colonel Owen Clark from the Aerospace Museum. I'll be back a little bit later in this program with some personal observations on the San Diego Aerospace Museum. But more news from Bonnie. Red Weary. Jack White is still at what's left of the Aerospace Museum in Balboa Park with some personal observations on the loss of that facility. Jack, can you bring us up to date? Bonnie, I think probably everyone in San Diego today is talking about this disaster. That's all I can call it. Behind me, the ruins are still smoldering from a fire that started shortly after 8 o'clock last night. Overhead is the sheriff's helicopter. They have some photographers up there trying to get some pictures of the burned out ruins. And I think everyone is asking why. Who would start such a fire as this? For what reason? And I think a lot of people are saying exactly what was inside that building. Well, it's hard to really say what was there. We have prepared a 30-second film clip that will give you an idea, though.
what was inside, the history of aviation. Now, most of it is gone, gone in the ruins of the fire. Bonnie, there are a lot of people interested in seeing these burned out ruins, and the police department here asks the people, please stay away. Traffic congestion here is pretty bad, and they say, please stay away at least for a couple of days. Jack, we thank you. I can understand that more traffic down there at this time would be adding to an already bad situation. That's the news at noon. We'll have more details, of course, in five on the fire, and we'll be